This is All India Radio Shillong, the North East News Bulletin read by Sandeepan Chakravarti. As we start the bulletin, we appeal to our listeners to stay safe from COVID-19 by following these four simple steps. Get fully vaccinated, wear a face mask, maintain dogaski duty for social distancing and focus on hand and face hygiene. And now the news in detail. In Tripura, a three days international seminar on strengthening cooperation among the neighboring countries began yesterday. Academicians from different Indian states and neighboring countries including Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan are taking part in the seminar titled as Development Cooperation Between India and Neighboring Countries Possibilities and Challenges. With the support of the Special Assistance Program of the University Grants Commission, this seminar is organized by the Department of Economics of Tripura University in collaboration with the Research and Information System for Developing Countries, RIS New Delhi. The Director General of RIS, Sachin Chaturvedi, said that all countries of the region, including India and its neighbors, need to find out ways to trade on the road for long-term development to come out from the prevailing economic situation badly impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic. Addressing the seminar virtually, Deputy Minister for Education of Bangladesh, Mahibul Hassan Chaudhary, highlighted the firm bilateral relations between India and Bangladesh over the last 50 years. Nagaland Chief Minister Nefu Rio yesterday presented a deficit budget of 2,212.74 crore rupees for the financial year 2022-23. Mr. Rio, who holds the finance portfolio, said that due to the state's acute financial condition and the ever-growing expenditure of the government, steps have been taken to enhance own revenues in various sectors. A significant contribution to the non-tax revenue is expected in the power sector. The Chief Minister announced that the introduction of two significant initiatives designed to have a wide impact on the people of the state. These are Chief Minister's Microfinance Initiative and Chief Minister's Health Insurance Scheme. The newly constituted Manipur State Cabinet held its first meeting yesterday after the formation of the new government with Chief Minister N. Biren Singh taking the chair. The cabinet approved 100 tasks in 100 days program which consists of various targets set before the government for achieving the same within the first 100 days of the new government. This includes policy decisions, construction works as well as systemic improvements. The cabinet decided that there would be a five day week for government offices without affecting essential services. Working hours will be increased on working days and all schools will sit from 8 in the morning every day. The cabinet is resolved to make Manipur free of corruption and drugs. Meghalaya Minister in Charge, Public Health Engineering, Renikton Lingdotongkhar has underscored the importance of rainwater harvesting and preserving the catchment areas to prevent depletion of water sources in the state. Speaking to reporters on World Water Day yesterday, Mr. Lingdo said, Though Meghalaya is blessed with much rainfall, the state is facing a huge shortage of water in many places, including Monsundrum and Cherapunji. By harvesting rainwater, the crisis can be solved, he said. Multiple check dams must be constructed in many rivers to protect them from freely flowing to Bangladesh, the minister said. The old Jaintia Hills Midday Meal Workers Union has decided to petition Prime Minister Narendra Modi against the Meghalaya government's failure to pay their five-month honorarium besides fulfilling their various demands. President of the union, Fiori Sinkon, told reporters that the state government has failed to release a five-month honorarium which is 1,000 rupees per head and this has affected many midday meal workers who mostly are women. The members of the Federation of All School Teachers of Meghalaya, FASTUM, marched from outside the Raj Bhavan till Malki Ground in Shillong yesterday against the delay by the state government in fulfilling their demand for upgrading all ad hoc schools to deficit grant ones with effect from 2019. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin from All India Radio Shillong. Have a nice day.